So I just want to give you guys an understanding of how you can improvise. This is, I'm filming this right here, this little set of tripods here. But of course, I'd have to take a tripod off in order to film. So I am using a coffee maker <laughs> to hold up the camera. And then inside of, as you can see, there's a light. Inside of the cabinets, I have a light situated. So yeah, you have to improvise. You gotta get smart, actually. I think about it, I should probably unplug the coffee maker boss, <laughs> just in case. But anyway, just, you know, improvise. It's not too difficult uh, doing this in a hotel room. So there you go. I get asked about a lot of things, camera related, electronics related, car related. This is what I do, it's what I love. One of the things, one of the questions that I hate getting the most though is what tripod should I buy? Biggest reason is because tripods are either really cheap or really expensive. And there are some that are expensive that aren't really that great. There are some that are really cheap that are actually better than you'd expect. The problem with it really comes into play when you want to talk about travel tripods or vlogging tripods because there are so many options and it can really get out of hand. I mean this one right here is specifically made for a cell phone. The reason why is because it has this little pen here and when you loosen this up it's pretty cool actually. But this right here $60. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, the Joby yeah. Grip Type Pro Video GP. This right here this is the Manfrotto Pixie 2, Pixie Evo 2, sorry. And it is $45 from Amazon. I mean, it's nice, but it's also very plasticky, makes a lot of noise, and slides relatively easily on some surfaces. It is kind of cool because you can actually take the legs and take them all the way down. So it's good for cameras, good for video cameras in, in various ways. Um, and it also does shorten the legs up as well. So it's actually useful. It's pretty good. But for $45? But it really comes into play with companies like these. This Cyrui, I think it's Cyrui. This is the 3T5K. It's $65. Now, granted, this one I think is a really good little travel vlogging tripod. It's really nice. You can actually set it up any which way you want. Comes with an Arca Swiss mount on it. I think that's the best personally. Um, pretty much all of my tripods and uh, vlogging tripods, travel tripods, everything's basically going to have some sort of Arca Swiss clamp or mount to it. Then you've got the Jobies, the other Jobies. Okay, this is the Joby 3K kit and this is the original one that came out before it. Um, this one was, what, 40 no, $30 just for these legs. This is back in like 2016 when I bought this. I already had this head, so I put this head on it. This head alone was 27 bucks. Um, pretty cheap actually, but it's an Arca Swiss mount as well. Uh, I got this on Amazon back in like January of 2015. The legs I, I bought a year later, and I just threw the head on there. This one right here, this 3K kit right here, it is 64 bucks. So this was 57 if you, if you calculate it together. This is 64. This head is not nearly as nice as the cheaper one, um, and I don't like I don't like this. I don't like this cheap little clamp head thing. I, I can't even tell if it's on or off. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, an Arca Swiss plate is going to go on that soon too. The Oban TT300. This right here is actually fifty dollars on Amazon. It extends really far. It's a really tall tripod. And it's, it's actually quite nice. All these, by the way, will hold, except for this. This is for a cell phone. All these will hold roughly about, about five to six pounds. So most, uh, most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras are going to be just fine. The one where I think where it's totally the best value is this. This right here is the Camasafe Kingjoy. It is the KT200. And this on Amazon is 30 bucks. But here's where it's really crazy. It's the exact same thing as this open. The same head. Uh, this is a Kingjoy BD1 head. And this is, a, this is an open BD1 head. 
Um, they're the exact same, just with shorter legs on this one. And it extends to almost the same height. I mean, granted, you've got, you know, a good five inches there, but it's literally the same thing. The exact same everything on, this, on these tripods. Everything's identical. Just the legs are a little bit shorter on this one, and the, the height of it's just a little bit shorter. That's, that's literally it. That's all. 30 bucks. Best value for dollar for a travel tripod of any sort. This right here is perfectly fine. You can use it as a vlogging tripod. You can use it as, you know, if you're in your hotel room like this. Perfectly fine for anything you see fit. Now, of course, if you're out in the woods and whatnot, some of these are going to be a little bit more difficult than others. This is going to be a little bit better. This may be a little bit better in some ways as well. And even this a little bit better, especially if you're doing photography and you want to really get down low. Let's calculate this out. Not including all of the heads that I've added to these things, not including all of the Arca Swiss plates, I mean, okay, that I've added. I've spent $371 on all of these right here. Let that sink in, $371. Again, that's not including the 15 bucks I usually spend to get an Arca Swiss uh, plate to mount on top of these, okay? So the question is, where is your money going? What is your budget? These are really good if you want to, if you're a run and gun style person um, and you never know where or what you're gonna be able to mount uh, a tripod to, uh, if it's gonna be a floor or you know if it's gonna be stable or whatever, you can wrap this around tree branches and uh, limbs and stuff like this, you can put it on rocks. And these are actually really great for that. They're also really great if you are holding the camera and pointing it at someone else and you can actually hold this as a very stable unit um, and then move these legs however you need to in order to hold the camera. And it's very stable, very, very stable. And you can always, of course, do the Casey Neistat type of thing where it's out here like this. When it comes to the selfie vlogging style tripods or travel style tripods, they can get really expensive when you're thinking about getting into this um, you know, vlogging type stuff or any type of filming for that matter. You spend thousands on camera gear, on cameras, lenses, microphones, whatever, tripods, and then you forget, oh, I need something to travel with. And while these are great, you just need to be careful. But I will say, if you're looking for something budget, this is the best one. This camera safe King Joy, uh, what is it, the KT200 is absolutely fantastic. It extends far enough, plenty far enough, for any type of vlogging. The legs are, everything for the most part on this thing is actually metal. So if you need something to, to travel with, you need something to, that you're gonna be vlogging on, this is it right here. It's gonna hold most cameras. It holds the Panasonic G85, holds my GH5 and my Fuji X-T2 without any problems. Only time when it gets a little dicey is when you put a big lens on something like a GH5 and I have the battery grip on it gets a little dicey then. This should hold pretty much almost everything you can throw at it, unless you've got a really big, heavy camera. So that's it. The, the Camasafe King Joy KT200. I'll link all these down at the bottom so that way you can actually price everything out. And uh, yeah, uh, happy filming. I'll see you guys later.